Hey, y'all. All right. I know I'm on a little earlier than y'all used to, but I haven't been on for two days. All right. Come on, Deacon Pat. Y'all send some love to Deacon Pat. Receiving her healing. God bless you. God bless you, Miss Austin, Sophie, Intercessor Abu, Kiana, Missionary Shelley, Minister Barbie, First Lady 85. Amen. Y'all send some love to Deacon Pat. Anointed Child, Deacon Kid, Morning Stir, Pastor Will, Elder Virginia. Rihanna 609. Amen. Morning stir from Michigan, my home state. Thank you for inviting followers. Yes, love to Deacon Pat. We're praying and believing God. We're not settling for anything but complete healing. Amen. Raina 609, the embassy. Embassy on their way to this area. For heart to heart. Amen. That's right. Let's send some healing power. We can ready to start this 24-hour prayer thing. It ain't going to be no joke. It's not going to be a joke. 24 hours of prayer, not just one time, but all the time. A bottle of Barbie joined us. Amen. Amen. So grace and peace to y'all. Again, I haven't been here in a couple days. Y'all know we're getting ready for the Gathering of Eagles this weekend. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Amen. Starting Friday, all right there at the River of Life Church, 199, I'm sorry, 100A Philadelphia Pike. Yeah, I got the corner parking on today. 100A Philadelphia Pike in Wilmington, Delaware. It's about to go down. A kingdom merger is taking place where we are coming together. Thank God for my team, especially my young people. Been doing scopes, sharing, doing all the social media, getting the word out there. When I showed up at Ebenezer this morning, on the parking lot was a lady with her registration in her hand. And so we are excited about, wasn't even a member, amen. We're excited about what God is going to do during this time. I even saw Nisha, bless you, Nisha. All of you that are online, I'm trying to get my scope done today because I got a lot of stuff to do as we get ready for the Alliance of Eagles, Gathering of Eagles. You can go on eventbrite.com and register. Ask for the Alliance of Eagles. Or call six uh six one zero uh what's what is it six one zero two six nine three four nine nine we'll register you on the, the over the phone if need be uh whatever I just uh, heard from Pastor Robin say the embassy are on their way thirty strong bringing pastors with them, amen amen so we are excited about what God is doing. Give us a call and get registered. It's not too late. Two more days to go. So, this word right here, OMG, the revelation that I got from this word is we go back to um, Genesis, the 37th chapter in this Joseph series. Where the hearts at? Where the hearts at? Because we got a little delay here. Come on, send some more hearts. There you go. Come on here. Genesis, the 37th chapter and the 31st verse. This is all I looked at and dealt with today. Genesis, the 37th chapter and the 31st verse. And I do, you know, hey, Elder Polly, do want y'all to uh, continue to compile all of the uh, titles from this Joseph series. Go on my YouTube channel at Pastor Kim Davis. Go on, hey, Minister Taria, go on catch.me, K-T-C-H.me and get caught up because I am, I'm not going to forget and y'all don't let me forget. I am going to give a prize to those who know them all. When I ask for him. So you just don't know when it's going to happen. So here it goes. Genesis the 37th chapter in the 31st verse. It reads. Hey Pastor John. And they took Joseph's coat. And killed a kid of the coats. And of the goats. And dipped. Uh oh. I got a call. And, and dipped the coat in the blood. And they took Joseph's coat. Y'all know it's all about the coat. Somebody put that up. It's all about the coat. It's all about the coat. It ain't even about you. It's all about the coat. And they took Joseph's coat and killed a kid of the goats and dipped the coat in the blood. Put it up. Put it up. It's all about the coat. It's all about the coat. 
and they took Joseph's coat and killed a kid of the coats and dipped the coat in the blood. And as I look at that, I ain't even going to read what you said in the Sessa Abu because, okay, you just said it. I was going to say, because you're getting ready to tell the whole story. And you too, Pastor John, would y'all just hold it? <laughs> y'all too hyped about the blood. And I think it's about time, you too, Minister Taria, I think it's about time that we get the revelation and the power behind the blood. The power of the blood. Here is where we go. Up to this point, you know what they have done. They think they have gotten rid of him. They think that by throwing him in the pit, he got, he's got the coat of many colors that represents the divine favor of God from the Father that's on him. And so they threatened to kill him, but I say they was too cowardly to kill him. They should have killed him because what they did now is going to make it better for him. In the spirit, this thing that they did is going to make it even worse for them as it pertains to trying to hold him down. It's going to empower him the more. So, up to this point, they've tried to cover it up. They've tried to, I mean, they have tried to get rid of him. They've thrown him in the pit. Now they've sold him into slavery, both of which are part of, yes, the divine setup. It only got his process going and started and pushed him closer to divine destiny. Now, in the midst of them trying to cover it up, y'all know we talked about the big cover up. They want to lie and they want to cover up what they did. And in the midst of the cover up, and, and this is what I saw in the studies. It said that many times when we do something wrong. When something somebody does something against us, they try to lie and they try to cover it up. And so instead, in, in the midst of lying and covering up, it still doesn't work. And so that's why you can't get upset with people when they lie on you, when they try and cover it up. Because when you are, have a coat, when you have the coat of many colors, when you have the favor of God, he will vindicate your righteousness. He will vindicate your righteousness as the noonday. So look at what they do. What is the object that they use for this great deception? What is the object that they use for this big, great deception? They use the coat. <laughs> they use the coat, the very thing that distinguished him from the others. They can't get away from the coat. They're so distracted from the coat because the coat is what distinguishes them from the others. The coat is the divine favor of God, but they should never have messed with the coat. And particularly what they did with the coat, they did not think it through first when you look at this thing in the spirit. The Bible says that they took a goat and this is what they did. They took a goat and killed it and took the blood and dipped the coat in the blood. They messed up when they dipped the coat in the blood because it's the blood that was going to vindicate him. It is the blood that's going to cry out to God from the earth concerning it. Oh my God, the blood. Somebody ought to put it in there. Listen here. When you look at Cain and Abel, when Cain got jealous of Abel's offering and God, and he kills, he kills Abel and he kills him and God comes to Cain and he says, where is your brother? And Cain gets smart with God and says, how am I supposed to know? Am I my brother's keeper? And look what God said. It's, it's, it's so powerful. God says that the blood of the, the voice of thy brother's blood crieth out to me from the ground. <laughs> you dip the coat in blood and hey, Bridget, and the blood has a voice. God says, the voice of thy brother's blood crieth for to me from the ground. 
And so y'all done messed up when you tried to get rid of the very thing that God has used to distinguish me. When you tried to mess up and cover up your lie and you used the blood. Because without the, without the blood, there is no remission of sin. So now you've covered me with the very thing that's going to take me even the higher in the place that God has already set for me. Anytime you use blood, hallelujah, you're going to cleanse me if I happen to be guilty. Anytime you use the blood, the death angel has to pass over me. Anytime you use the blood, you actually empower me when you was trying to do something that you thought was going to mess me up. And then you try and cover the very thing that came to me from the father, the coat of many colors, the thing that distinguishes me from everybody else. And you covered it and dipped it in the blood. Oh, you have messed up now because all oh, the blood of Jesus, it washes white as snow. Somebody ought to just put up the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood. There is power, power, wonder working power. And y'all know this is a spiritual analogy that I am using in the blood, the blood of the lamb. Come on here, Nita. Come on here, Nisha. Come on here, Pastor John. Somebody ought to shout unto God with a voice of triumph because what the enemy means for bad, God is going to work it out for your good. And so if they, if they didn't plead the blood, they didn't dip your, dip your coat in blood. You ought to just plead the blood of Jesus and tell him to cover you yourself because you got that ability. You got that power. So there you go. There you go. There you go. Somebody more of you put up there the blood. Hello, BJ Christmas from Charlotte, North Carolina. They dipped it in the blood and now they done messed up because now you done pushed me even further into the divine purpose and destiny of God. Hey, Simone. Amen. Plead the blood of Jesus. Plead it over your assignment. Plead it over your cup, your, the favor that's over you. Plead it over your mind. Plead the blood over your body. Plead the blood over your lungs, Deacon Pat. Plead the blood over every ounce of your being. Plead it over your children and watch the death angel have to cross over. They thought they were doing something to stop them, but they can't stop the divine uh, working of God. Because you see it in, in the book of Genesis. It comes up what you meant it for evil, but God has worked it out for my good. So that's it. That's it. I love y'all. I bless y'all. I am Pastor Kim Davis. I am the pastor of the Ebenezer Full Gospel Baptist Church. Amen. In Downingtown, Pennsylvania. I am the pastor of the River of Life Church. Amen. They can't stop it. I feel like shouting. Don't y'all make me do a praise break. <laughs> I'm the pastor of the River of Life Church in Wilmington, Delaware, and I am Apostle Kim Davis. I am the uh, presiding prelate of the Alliance of Eagles Fellowship, with, which is a divine, strong, powerful fellowship of pastors and leaders in the kingdom. I heard that victory roll and I heard the rain dance. So that's it. If you haven't registered for the Gathering of the Eagles this weekend, go on eventbrite.com and do that. Go on my Facebook page. Go uh, on my YouTube page of Pastor Kim Davis. Catch the scopes on catch.me. But no, once the blood is in this thing, ain't no stopping us now. Because Jesus died for our sins and his blood has cleansed us from all unrighteousness. And if the even if the enemy was smart, but he dumb. If he was smart, he would have never put Jesus on the cross.